I'm a Hana. Today I'm going to read the Koala Who Could by Rachel Boyton Jimfield. This book teaches us to be open to change and new experiences. Wow, to be open to change and new experiences. So let's start. In a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn, where the breezes were soft and the sunshine was warm. A place where the creatures ran wild and played free. A, a, a koala put Kevin plump to a tree. A nice gray fellow you never would meet as soft. A soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way was to relax in the sun, was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. He was terribly good at all these three things. Yes, Kevin was the king of the staying still kings. You see, high up was safe since he liked the slow pace, while the ground and below seemed the frightening place, too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. No, Kevin preferred not to move, nor to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew how to do, and he was never too keen to try anything new. So when Boombap stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, my king tree, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not, Fred the Roos, who liked the idea? Yes, why? Because the dingoes have nothing to fear. But Kevin wasn't the do things we exert, so they are clinging to do with thanks for the thought. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he did miss home in the dark and the late. The whole thing was whiskey adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he would always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin. Just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day, the weeks came and went, and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap, tap the sound, and with this was a blow. Tap, tap, it, tap, tap. Well, 
welcome and Paul. Kevin, he didn't hold back anymore. When Bingo asked, now we are going to play, the crowd all joined in with a word. Do you say? And even though this wasn't a part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. So life, because life can be great when you try something new. Yeah, life can be great when we try something new. So once again, what's the message from the book? To be open to changing new experiences. Thank you, Ahana. You're welcome. Goodbye.